subscribe to my channel story time with lenny for more videos hello welcome to story time with lenny i'm lenny sangam and today we're gonna read a book called curious george takes a train George takes a train. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. This morning, George and the man with the yellow hat were at the train station. They were taking a trip to the country with their friend, Miss Needleman, but first they had to get tickets. Inside the station, everyone was in a hurry. People rushed to buy newspapers to read and treats to eat. Then they rushed to catch their train. But one little boy with a brand new toy engine was not in a hurry. Not was the small crowd next to him. They were just standing in one spot looking up. George looked up too. A train master was moving numbers and letters on a big sign. Soon the train master was called away, but his job did not look finished. George was curious. Could he help? George climbed up in a flash. Then he picked then, just like the train master, he picked a letter off the sign and put it in a different place. Next, he took the number 9 and put it near a 2. George moved letters and more numbers. He was glad to be such a big help. Hey, yelled the man from below. I can't tell when my train leaves. What track is my train on? asked another man. What is that monkey doing up there? demanded a woman. She did not sound happy. The train master did not sound happy either. Come down from there right now, he hollered at George. Poor George. It's too easy for a monkey to get in trouble. But lucky for George, it is also easy for a monkey to get out of trouble. Right then, the conductor shouted, All aboard! A crowd of people rushed towards the train. George simply slid down a pole. Scurried over the suitcase and squeezed through the crowd through the gate. There he found the perfect hiding place for a monkey. The little boy with the toy engine also ran through the gate. Look, Daddy, he said. A train! His father looked up. Come back, son, he yelled. That's not our train. But it was too late. The gate locked behind him. George peeked out of his... I mean, the boy began to cry. George peeked out of his hiding place. He saw the boy's toy roll towards the tracks. The boy ran after it. This time, George knew he could help. He leaped out of his hiding place and ran fast. George grabbed the toy engine before the little boy came too close to the tracks. What a close call. When the train master opened the gate, the boy's father ran to his son. The boy was not crying now. He was playing with his new friend. So there you are, said the train master when he saw George. You sure have made a lot of trouble on the big board. Please don't be upset with him, said the boy's father. He saved my son. The people on the platform agreed. They had seen what had happened and they clapped and cheered. George was a hero. 
Just then, the man with the yellow hat arrived with Miss Needleman. It's time to go, George, he said. Here comes our train. This is our train too, his, the father said. The little boy was excited. Can George ride with us, he asked. That sounds like a good idea to everyone. So the train master asked the conductor to find them a special seat. And he did, right up front, the end. I learned about this book that, um, of course, you can't um, do everything because sometimes you don't even know what they're doing. And also, my favorite part of this book was when George um, saved the boy from getting onto the tracks. Um, George was really a hero. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this book. And one more thing before I go. Keep watching and keep reading. See you in my next video, guys!